around the UK. So to be chosen or even chosen for my company was a real privilege, let alone uh, selected. So yes, yeah, so it's a real honor for me. For me, I, I know for, for the Young Pioneer Group, it's, uh, it's important that you're kind of working outside your, your age limits. So um, it's really important in manufacturing and, and engineering as a whole to have a lot of experience behind what you're doing, your thought processes. So to be able to work um, as a graduate or as someone fresh out of an apprenticeship and work within uh, this industry with lots of really, really experienced people, it's, that's, that's the main thing for me that I've managed to kind of hold my head, head above sort of many, many experienced people in the industry. So um, for me personally, it's, it's working with these uh, experienced people. Working um, in manufacturing, or especially working with parts like Sam Maxwell, um, it's really cool to know where our products go, what they can use for, who they can help around the world. Uh, so that's kind of what inspires me to, to do the best job I can. Um, I know that obviously we've got a lot of medical uh, applications that help with lots and lots of people around the world. Uh, new startups as well, um, new technologies being discovered around the world. I know that a lot of our products can be used in those industries, so it's, it's really, really cool to know. Um, in terms of what made me understand what I wanted to be or why I wanted to be in, in manufacturing, it's essentially just me having kind of fascination with how things work, how things move, uh, etc. So I knew that having a career in that would be you know, really beneficial and uh, enjoyable for me. We had, um, as with a lot of people, a, a massive period of, uh, of growth and, and huge pressure from customers. So um, a lot of online shopping was being done. We had a big customer that sort of made um, products for uh, large factories around the world. Um, essentially my job and, and a small team was to a uh, flow line or an uh, assembly line uh, from about 40 units a day to about 650. Um, so the challenge was five weeks to get that job done um, and for me, uh, yeah, managed to, to, to get that job done and, and essentially move three or four sub-assemblies into one flow line. Um, so it was a huge, huge challenge to get, to get ready but with some really, really good guidance from uh, the production engineering team here and, um, and the team that I was involved with, we, we managed to get that done. So, so, real team effort but, but yeah a big challenge. I've been looking at um, the armed forces and how they do their recruitment so essentially every time you turn on the TV or you look on Facebook or anything like that you see armed force jobs you see um, this real big push to get people into the armed forces and um, I feel like we could learn something from that as well um, if we had the same amount of uh, budget that would obviously be amazing but to get adverts like that on TV or on social media to people but, um, and to kind of obviously make an engineering career seem as exciting as an armed forces career, I think that would be something we could learn from and I think it would be a huge benefit getting in front of the eyes of, of, of young candidates.